is what the hidden world is doing. Ndiyo ulimwengu wa giza unafanya. Hey. Uh-huh. Are you understanding? Hey, that is what the hidden world is doing. Ndiyo ulimwengu wa giza unafanya. Come and cast them. Jeo nilaanie. This is the sacrifice. Ndiyo hii dhabihu. When they want to cast. Wakitaka kulaani. They realize apana. Wanatambua hapana. There is the blood of Jesus around them. There is the blood. There is the angel. There are angels around them. They want to cast. Only to realize. When they wake up to cast. You are also awake. Every power. Passing my life. Back to sender. Back to sender. By the time they wake up. I am praying for somebody here. Every man or woman. That appear in your dream. To steal your baby in the womb. May their hands wither. May their hands wither. People that appear in your dream. To inject you sicknesses. May they inject themselves. May they inject themselves. Hey. Amen. The spirit world is a reality. Don't joke. Witches. Their work is to enter the spirit realm. And see who is sleeping, who is waking. And they cast them. Hey. Uh-huh. Listen. You can go and read the whole chapter. It is talking about the 21 altars. He erected seven. He erected another seven. He erected another seven. In that chapter there are 21 altars. Just planning to cast Israel. To cast Israel. Somebody said today. Today every altar. Every altar. Speaking against my life. Speaking against my life. I silence you. I silence you. I silence you. I silence you. One of the most powerful entity. Moja wapo eneo la nguvu sana. That has buried people alive. Ambaye imezika watu akiwa hai. Is what I call family altar ni madhabahu ya familia family altar madhabahu ya familia family altars turn heroes madhabahu ya familia yanageuza mashujaa wawe sufuri people that are supposed to be known they are not known wanaopaswa kutambulika hawajulikani you can know them hawezi watambua businesses that are on kenyatta avenue biashara ziko kenyatta avenue they can get customers hakuna wateja people go to vichorochoro watu wanaingia kule ndani ana that is well stocked it can't get a customer why there are powers that fight you hey altars family altars they put successful people on a reverse gear people that we are running on the top gear in success they are now on reverse gear you can't explain what happened hey uh-huh. you can't explain family altars reduce men and women they be come dormant wanakuwa wale watu wa kupangusia uchafu they use you and dump you watu wanakutumia vibaya kisha wanakutupa they use you and throw you wanakutumia wanakutupa family altars madhabahu ya familia it has brought colorful marriages to disgrace imeharibu na kuaibisha ndoa zilizokuwa nzuri people that walked in the aisle together watu walioingia kanisani kwa harusi pamoja 3 years later miaka mitatu baadaye they can see one another eye to eye hawawezi kutana macho kwa macho why There is an altar that scattered them. People that are supposed to be helping others. They are the ones who are being helped. These altars. They make graduates terrible job seekers. Terrible job seekers. Hey, uh-huh. you can't explain. Hey, many men and women whose stars were shining. They were celebrated after the results. From four they were celebrated. But university. They got PhD in pregnancy. You can't explain what 
You thought this is the girl I am supposed to enjoy her salary. Ukafikiria huyo ndio binti nitafurahia mshahara wake. But the third year. Mwaka wa tatu. They were pregnant. Wakapata mimba. To make the matter worse. Kuharibu zaidi. They got twins. Wakapata mapacha. <laughs> to add insult to injury. Kuongeza kuumiza katika jeraha. Graduates. Wale waliohitimu. People that are supposed to take 4 years in a course. Ambao wangechukua tu miaka 4 katika taaluma. They take 11 years. Wanakaa miaka 11. Wasting the resources of the father. Wanaharibu rasilimali za baba. The father sends the cow. Baba anatuma anauza ngombe. Sends the land. Anauza shamba. To educate a person whose star was arrested. Asomeshe mtu ambaye nyota yake ilishikwa. Hey. A man whose star was arrested the first year. Mtu ambaye nyota yake ilishikwa mwaka wa kwanza. The voices in a family altar. Sauti katika madhabahu ya jamii has battled with the people. Yanapigana na watu. Battling with people. Napigana na watu. Hey. And you don't know when this battle will end. Na haujui vita itakwisha lini. Because there is a voice of family altar. Maana kuna sauti ya madhabahu ya familia. People spending their lives treating what is not known. Watu wanatumia miaka yao yote kutibu kile hawajui ni nini. You are treating what you don't know. Unatibu kile haujui ni nini. I've seen people who walk everywhere. Nimeona watu wanatembea kila mahali. They are from X-ray. Wametoka kupigwa picha. They carry huge photographs and x-ray wana hizo picha za x-ray kubwa carry big pictures of a scan wana picha kubwa za scan they go again to queue wanaenda pika kupiga foleni tena for the scan to be interpreted ili ile picha ielezewe zaidi and the doctor write the report daktari anaandika ripoti they send you again to Un, fifth floor unatumwa gorofa ya tano gate house kule gate house The doctor looks at it. Daktari pia anaangalia tena. Specialist. Anakuambia unahitaji mtaalamu hapa. Go to CK the 7th floor. Enda CK patel tena gorofa ya 7. Na kuna lift. Look at that. Tazama. People's yu. destiny are being punished. Hatima za watu zinaadhibiwa. You are being punished. Unaadhibiwa. After going all that. Baada ya mzunguko huo wote. They send you to Polo Center. Unatumwa sasa Polo Center. They want to check your air. You are chest. Ukaangaliwe kifua chako. You stand on the wall they x-ray behind. Unasimama kwa ukuta wanakupiga picha nyuma. Then you look up. Kisha unageuka. And these people are taking you a photograph are uh, younger than you. Wale wanakupiga hizo x-ray ni wadogo kukushinda. And you are 60 years. Wewe una miaka 60. And this is a girl of 23. Msichana makashina tatu. Checking your ribs. Anaangalia mbavu zako. They look like guitar. Zinakaa kama guitar. <laughs> Bass guitar. <laughs> Your guitar bass. <laughs> They are taking you X-ray naked. Unapigwa picha ukiwa uchi na watoto wadogo. It's like a bass guitar. Bavu zako zinakaa kama hiyo guitar. Then this small girl. Binti huyo mdogo anakuambia. Yes, the stands of cop. Weka vile vitu kwenye masikio. They are listening at Wanasikiza sauti ya moyo wako. The heart where Jesus lives. Moyo mali Yesu anakaa. The devil is alive. Shetani ni muongo. May that embarrassment be arrested. Hiyo haibushikwe. Hey. Aha. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is you are being punished for what cannot be treated. Unaadhibiwa kwa kile hakiwezi tibiwa. After all the x-rays and scan. Baada ya kupigwa picha zote hizo. They say we need to check your urine. Wanaisema unahitaji kuona mkojo wako. They give you a bottle. Unapewa chupa. They want to check your urine. Ulete mkojo. Hey, listen. Skiza. People <laughs> are sent to hospital. Watu wanatuma hospitali. When they can't see anything in the urine. Hawaoni kitu kwa mkojo. They tell you we need your stool. Wanakuambia sasa tunataka choo chako. Hey, embarrassment. Aibu. Embarrassment. Aibu. May that embarrassment stop. Hiyo aibu iko. Somebody hapa. say any cash. Every cash. Every altar. Every altar. Punishing my life. Punishing my life. With embarrassment. With embarrassment. Catch fire. Catch fire. Hey, hey man, look at that. Tazama hiyo. 
People are being punished on a daily basis. Many people spend their life treating sickness that are not there. Family altars. Relocating people from the city back to the village. You go back to the village with nothing. You labor and you work for others in the city. But in the end, you have to pack and go back to the village. Family altars. They make many people who are healthy. People that are healthy. They have money. But their health is sickness. It is sickness. Sentencing people to poverty that is irrevocable. Communities. They have been arrested by this altar. And for that matter, the altars of witchcraft. Altars of witchcraft. Hey, families. They are sentenced to divorce. You find there are four ladies in one family divorced. Five ladies divorced. And all of them have babies. Five men divorcing their wives. And they can't explain what is going on. And they are still going to church. I have seen men of God divorcing. And you wonder what happened. And the same men of God are the ones who say there are no curses. They say there are no curses. There is no witchcraft. They marry after five years, they divorce. You wonder what happened again. What you assume will resume. May it never resume in your life. I bury the curse. I bury the altar. I bury the witchcraft. Out of your life. That is why when we pray, you pray like a mad prophet. Hey, uh -huh. a mad prophet. A wounded lion. Hey, that is how you pray. There are things that don't obey until fire is ignited. That is when demons start releasing you. Listen to this. I want you to follow this story very well. John chapter number 4. I have taught this story so many times. People look at the Samaritan woman as a prostitute, as a husband snatcher. But there is so much in this woman that we didn't know. So much. John chapter 4. We can start from verse number 1. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Hey, that John, Jesus was making more disciples. So there are churches whether you fight them they will still have more disciples. That's what was happening between these two. Although Jesus did not baptize, but his disciples, Jesus never baptized. It is his disciples. So when he heard that rumors, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. Why? Follow me closely. And the reason was that he must go through Samaria. There was a need to go to Samaria. Somebody says Samaria. Samaria. There are two people in Samaria that was very important. Number one was the Samaritan woman whom Jesus met. The second man was Simon the sorcerer which Philip met after Jesus. There were two important people in Samaria. So then cometh he to the city of Samaria. 
Jesus has arrived Yesu akafika in the city of Samaria Mjua Samaria which was called Sinka Uitao Sikari near a parcel of ground Karibu na lile shamba Somebody says shamba shamba near a parcel of ground Karibu na kipande cha shamba that Jacob gave to his son Joseph ambao Jacob alimpa Yusufu mwanawe Follow here Nifuate hapa Jacob gave land to Joseph. Jacob alimpa Yusufu mwanawe shamba. But lakini we don't see Jacob atuoni Jacob giving land to Reuben, Simeon and Levi. Hatuoni akimpatia Reuben, Simeon na Lawi shamba. Because Reuben was cast. Maana Reuben yakalaaniwa. Simeon was cast. Simeon yakalaaniwa. Levi was cast. Lawi yakalaaniwa. He jumped Judah. Akamruka Judah. Judah was blessed. Judah akabarikiwa. But the inheritance went to Joseph. Lakini urithi ukamwendea Yusufu. So Jesus landed. Yes where there was that land it is in the new testament the land was given 2000 or 4000 years ago actually 4000 years ago land does not rot hey i understand it amen this land was given to the sons of Joseph. Ishamba ikapatiwa wanawe Yusufu. 4000 years ago. Miaka 1000 iliyopita. There are a land in Kenya you can sell. Kuna mashamba hapa Kenya hauwezi ukauza. They are called family land. Yanaitwa mashamba ya familia. You try to sell you provoke battles. Ukidhubutu kuuza unachochea vita. Hey. Aha. There are a land in Kenya you can sell. Kuna shamba nchini Kenya huwezi uza. Until the family comes together. Hadi jamii keti pamoja. But when they sit together they abuse one another. Wakiketi pamoja wanaanza kutusiana. They scatter and everybody goes. Kutano tawanyika wanaachana. The land stays again. Shamba inabakia pale pale. They can't sell it. Haiwezi kuuzwa. They can't reach an agreement. Hawawezi fika maafikiano. Because land maana shamba was given to people by covenant. Ilipeanwa kwa maagano. Hey Amen. The land in Kenya. Kuna shamba pa Kenya. They are under lease. Ziko chini ya kukodishwa tu. 999 years. Miaka 999. There are people who kill one another because of land. Kuna watu wanaouana kwa sababu ya shamba. There is a covenant in the land. Pana maagano kwa shamba. So Jesus had to go through there. Ilimbidi Yesu apitie pale. Where there was a parcel of land. Mahali kuna kipande cha shamba. That Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Ambao Yakobo alimpa Yusufu mwanawe. And we know the story. Na tunaelewa historia. One of the most interesting stories I've ever read. Moja ya historia ambayo ni ya kufurahisha sana nimesoma. So when Jesus arrived here. Yesu anapofika hapa. He is thirsty. Ana kiu. He is thirsty. Ana kiu. So he decided to sit by the well. Akaamua kukaa karibu na yale maji. Hey, kisiwa. Kisiwa. Are you understanding? Amen. Follow this closely. Nifuate kwa makini. Very very crucial. Aha, What sabi. was in that parcel of land? Nini ilikuwa katika kile kiwanja cha cha shamba? Jacob's well. Ilikuwa ni uh, kisima cha Yakobo. 4000 years old. Miaka 1000. Inheritance. Urithi Jacob's well was there. Kisima cha Yakobo kingali pale. Jesus being weird and tired. Yesu ana kiu na amechoka. Because of his journey. Kwa sababu ya safari, he said it was about the sixth hour. Akaketi pale karibu na almaa. What happened? A woman appeared. Mwanamke akaja to come and draw water. Kuteka maji. And the first thing Jesus said, give me water. Yesu akamwambia nipe maji. Give me water. Nipe maji. And this woman understood the accent. Ha, mwanamke huyu alielewa ile lugha. He knew this one is not our tribe. Akajua huyu si mmoja wetu. And this time the disciples had gone to the city to buy food. Wanafunzi wake Yesu walikuwa wamekwenda mjini kununua chakula. Follow me closely. Nifuate kwa makini. Then said the woman of Samaria to him. Basi mwanamke wa Samaria How is it that you being a Jew? Imekuaje wewe Mwayahudi? I can look at you and know you are a Jew. Na kuangalia najua wewe ni Mwayahudi. You are a Jew. Wewe ni Mwayahudi. I know you are tribe. Najua kabila lako. When you say ships. Ukisema ships. I don't know whether it's chips or ships. Sijui namaanisha ya kondoo ama namaanisha ile chips ya chakula. Give me ships. Niele nipate hiyo ships. Tunajua. So I don't know whether you are asking for ship or ships. Sijui ni kondoo ama ni viazi hiyo. So I know where you come from. Sajua mahali natoka kwa hiyo lugha. 
They look at your action. Wanaangalia lugha yako. They know where you come from. Wanajua umetoka wapi. So he said I think you are a Jew. Naona wewe ni Myahudi. Even the way you are dressed. Hata vile umezungumza. The way you are speaking. Vile umevana kuzungumza. Is it? Inawezekanaje? You are a Jew you ask water from me a Samaritan woman. Wewe Myahudi kutaka maji kwangu mimi ambaye ni Msamaria. We have no dealings. Hatuna uhusiano. We have no connection. Hatuna kitu kinatuunganisha. Hey, we don't have connection. Hatuna uhusiano. Follow me close. Nifate kwa makini. Follow me close. Nifate. That is when Jesus told her if you knew who is asking you for water Yesu akamjibu kama ungalijua nani anakuomba maji you would have asked for that water of life ungeniomba maji ya uzima the living water maji aliyo ya uzima I said man The way I look at you are too young. Vile nakuangalia wewe ni kijana mdogo. Where do you get that water? Hiyo maji ya uzima umetoa wapi? Because if you give me that water, ukinipa hiyo maji, I will stop coming here. Nitawacha kuja hapa kuteka. Where is that water? Wapi hiyo maji? So that I drink. Ili ninywe and never come back here again. Na nisirudi hapa nisione The woman said to her. Mwanamke akamwambia, "Sa You have nothing to draw with. Bwana huna kitu cha kutekea. And the well is so deep. Na kisima ni kirefu. Where are you getting this living water? Basi umeyapata maji hayo wapi? Where is this living water? Hayo maji aliyo hai yako wapi? Hey, the shocking story. Jambo la kushangaza. Are you greater than our father Jacob? Je, wewe mkubwa kuliko baba yetu Yakobo? In other words, kwa maneno mengine, I am connected to Jacob 4000 years. Nina uhusiano na Yakobo miaka 1000. I am drinking from the well of Jacob. Na kunywa kwa kisima cha Yakobo. Are you understanding the story? Amen. I am drinking from the well of my father. Na kunywa kisima cha baba yangu. My father was Jacob. Baba yangu ni Yakobo. In other words, mengine, what I am drinking is by inheritance. Ni urithi. Is by inheritance. Ni kwa urithi. He gave us the well. Aka, aka and he drank there of himself. Na akakinywa ya yeye mwenyewe. Jacob was drinking here. Yakobo alikunywa maji ya hiki sasa. And also his children. Na hata wanawe. Reuben drank here. Reuben akanywa hapa. Simeon and Levi drank here. Simeon na Levi pia wakanywa. Asha and Gad. Asha na Gad. Naphtali. Naphtali. They were all drinking here. Even his cattle. They were all drinking here. Are you greater than Jacob? Hey, who was Jesus to this woman? Yesu nani kwa huyu mwanamke? That is what many of us don't understand. We don't know Hatujui. who Jesus is to this woman. Yesu nani kwa huyu mwanamke? And we can only know na tuweza tu kujua who Jesus is. Yesu ni nani? If we look at the CV of Jesus. Tukiangalia CV ya Yesu. Where he is coming from. Mahali amezaliwa. Matthew 1:1. Mathayo 1:1. Then we come back to this woman. Kisha turegelee kwa huyu mwanamke. Look at this. I want you to see the relationship between this woman. Nataka uone uhusiano kati ya huyu mwanamke and Jesus. Na Yesu. The book of generation of Jesus Christ. Kitabu cha ukoo wa Yesu Kristo. Sema kitabu cha ukoo. Kitabu cha ukoo. I can't hear you. Sema kitabu cha ukoo. Kitabu cha ukoo very very important because everyone listening to me kila anayenisikiza kuna kitabu cha ukoo cha familia aha that is why your identity card has several names kitabu hicho chako kina majina mengi there is sub location kuna eneo location kuna pale nyumbani sub county kuna sub county district kuna maeneo anytime you are filling forms kila unapojaza zile forms there is the province where you came from all those details hayo maelezo yote yako it is like a book of generation ni kama kitabu cha ukoo he was the son of david alikuwa mwana wa daudi the son of abraham mwana wa ibrahim so number one we see tunaona jesus has connection with david yes. and abraham yesu ana uhusiano na daudi na ibrahimu Go ahead with this book again. Abraham begot Isaac. Ibrahim wakamza Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Isaac akamza Yakobo. So Jesus is also in the lineage of Jacob. Yesu ako katika ukoo wa Yakobo. So Jesus is talking to a woman that is her relative. Yesu anazungumzia mwanamke ambaye ni wa jamii yao ama ni wa ukoo wao. Unanielewa sasa? Amen. Hey. Umenielewa? 
Jesus is talking to her relative. So if this woman drank from the well, Jesus in the same line, he must have drank from the well. He is a partaker. In other words, I came to the well of my ancestors. I am a partaker of the same blessing. <laughs> hey, so can you give me water or I scatter you? I am also a partaker of this well. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, which clan are you coming from? Are you understanding? Amen. So we know Jesus is connected to this woman. But more interesting is that are you greater than our father Jesus? Which gave us this well? He gave us this well. He left it for us. We have been drinking for 4,000 years. Samaritans Samaria they were cross breeds. <laughs> they were cross breeds. They were like chotaras. It was a mixed race. <laughs> so he found himself in that lineage. So they were part of uh, the redemption part also. They were also to be redeemed and receive salvation. So as you continue on, he says, <laughs> this is interesting, are you greater than our father Jacob? Jesus answered and said to her, whosoever drinks this water of Jacob, they yeah, shall Yacobo. thirst again. Ataona ki utena. They shall thirst again. Ataona ki utena. But whosoever drinks of the water I shall give him. Lakini anyo emaji yale ntakaya umpa. He shall never thirst. Ataona ki umilele. But the water that I shall give him. Bali yale emaji ntakaya umpa. Is a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Yatakuwa ndani yake chemi chemi ya maji ya bubujikaya uzima wa milele. She said give me. Give me that water Nipe maji. that I thirst no more. Ki utena. That I don't come here again. I am actually tired of this life. Hey, then this is what happened. Ika, afanika but, afanika Jesus said to her, yes, because now I want even your husband to be a partaker of this living water. Mana taka sasa wa, wa, wa mume wako ashiriki haya maji. Go and call her here. Nenda umlete hapa. Go call your husband. Ita mumeo. Call your husband here. Wite hapa. Because I want also to introduce myself as your relative. Nataka pia nijitambulishe kama mtu wa ukoo wenu. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Somebody raise your hand and say every well of my father. Every well of my that father. That is punishing my life. That is punishing my life. You shall dry. You shall dry. You shall dry. You shall dry. Well of sickness. Well of sickness. Well of poverty. Well of poverty. You shall dry. You shall dry. Hey. Amen. Go call your husband. Nenda umwite mumeo. Go call your husband so that I may also introduce myself and tell him before Jacob was I am. Hey, the woman said, I have no husband. I don't have a husband. Hey, Jesus said, you have said this truth. You have no husband. Because you had five. Hey, somebody say five. Watano. Five slay kings. Wafalme wa kikando watano. Slay kings. Wafalme wa kando watano. Because if there is slay queen, there is slay king. Kama kuna wale malikia wakando, kuna pia wafalme wa kando. Said you had five. Ulikuwa na watano. And you have said the truth. Na umesema kweli. Aha, go ahead, was 19. Kumna tisa. Hey. Hey. This is interesting. The woman said, now I have perceived. You are a prophet. What Jesus is teaching her, you have talked about this well. And you are saying, Jacob was your father. 
Did you know that Jacob had four wives? Now you having five husbands, you are drinking from the well of polygamy. Are you understanding now? Uh -huh. He said, if your father was Jacob, Jacob married Leah, he married Rachel, married Bilha, and Zilpah, four wives. Now because you are drinking from that well, you are not exempted. You will also drink a well of polygamy. Somebody say, altars of polygamy. Altars of polygamy. It's a long journey. This woman exposes her ignorance in suffering. That you had five husbands. And even the one you left in your house is not yours. So what you don't understand, Mama, is that the father you are calling Jacob, he had four wives. And all of you know them. Rachel, Leah, Bilha, and Zilpa. Rachel, Leah, Bilha, and Zilpa. They were the wives. And on the way back to Bethel, Bethel, that is when Rachel died. Rachel Akafa. Remain three. Are you understanding? Amen. So there are altars we call family altars. These are family altars that keep speaking generationally. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been blessed. This program continues tomorrow, same time. To get a copy of this whole sermon or any other on DVD, SMS or call 0710-448570. For prayers call 0719-727272. Or 0722-656906. To partner with the Oracle Television Network, SMS or call 0700-620326.